the left still screams and shouts, I have COVID, but I'm so thankful that I'm vaxxed and boosted. In fact, it's like they copy and paste the same statement every time they get COVID. We have one for Maxine Waters that we'll share here. There we go. Hey, there it is. Congressman Maxine Waters says she has COVID. I am grateful to be fully vaccinated and to have received two booster shots. Thank goodness that vaccine so effective. And then Nancy Pelosi. I tested positive for COVID. I am grateful for them and to be vaccinated. Get vaccinated and boosted. And then there's another one as well. Rashida Tlaib. Uh, after not feeling well over the weekend, I'm home quarantined and recovering. She's also vaccinated and boosted. And then there was another one. If you remember when Kamala Harris tested positive, she also said that she was vaxxed and boosted and thankful for it. And actually, Kamala Harris was prescribed a oh, pill yeah. for yeah, severe cases yep. of COVID. And I mean, she's not old. She's in her 50s. I mean, I guess that's a little bit higher risk, but I think she's generally healthy. But she was prescribed this pill that's for severe cases of COVID, despite being vaccinated and boosted. It's like COVID has become a, a religion of sorts for the left. They are obsessed with masks, and now their their latest obsession is saying that they're vaccinated and boosted. It's like it's something that they desperately need to hold on to. Yeah, like they yeah. they have to have it. They cannot give up the vaccine and the booster shot. And it's just, the, it's, yeah, they want yeah. it to be bad. They, they needed yeah. it to be bad. And, yeah. I just pulled the the piece that I wrote a yeah, couple of years yeah. ago, and I, I just want to share a couple of a couple of excerpts from this, uh, talking about they're needing it to be bad, they're wanting yeah. it to be bad. Um, while that accomplishment, talking about Sweden performing well, should be lauded, and their efforts duplicated around the world, the media has instead chosen to blast the Nordic state and paint a dismal picture that simply doesn't exist. CBS News declared. Now remember, folks, this is August of 2020. CBS News declared Sweden becomes an example of how not to handle COVID-19. <laughs> Similarly, the University of Virginia Health System Funny. issued a news release titled Lack of Lockdown Increased COVID-19 Deaths in Sweden. Taking a stab at prognostication, Newsweek said Sweden COVID-19 deaths linked to failure to take us to, to take lock, pardon me, failure to lock down and country prepares for second wave. Always eager to bravely embrace the status quo, the New York Times ran a piece headline, Sweden tries out a new status, pariah state. Finally, Business Insider reported Sweden's coronavirus death toll is now approaching zero, but experts are warning others not to hail it as a success. They were cheering against this, folks. They yes. are actively, I mean, think about this. The people who reported these things, the people who said these things, they actively undermined an approach to the virus that saved lives. They wanted saved COVID lives. to be bad. They wanted COVID to yes. be bad. They pushed for it to be bad. They hoped it would be bad. And they pushed policy that made it worse. Yes. Shame on them.